Hey guys, Jackman5000 here, and I'm going to be doing a real quick tutorial today on how to give your server more RAM or dedicates more RAM to your server on a Windows Craft Bucket server or Craft Bucket server, whatever you want to call it. And so you can open up your Craft Bucket, go in here, and go to your Craft Bucket starter.bat, right click, open it, usually with Notepad, but if you're smart like me, you're going to use Notepad. And I'm going to open that, and you're going to see this, you're going to be like, ah! But anyways, don't worry about all that. You're going to just need to worry about these numbers right here, right here and here. First of all, the top one, you don't even need to touch. Just keep that one exactly the same. But you go down to the second one, and this is the amount of RAM that is by default allocated to your server, which is 1,024 megabytes, 1 gigabyte. That's how much you get by default. Now you can just go and change that number. So I'm going to just turn it up to 2048, which is actually equivalent to 2 gigabytes. And I'm going to go save that. And I'm going to load my server, and it should work. And there we go, it works. That's pretty much all that you need to change to actually turn it up. Um, the other one is actually for something else. I think it's for Java or something. But pretty much... You just don't need to touch that. That's all you need to touch is this one right here. But you need to make sure that what you do, there's no real limit on how much you can dedicate to your server. So, you know, you can more or less have your users not lagging due to RAM issues. Now, obviously, you have bad internet. You won't be able to host very well off your computer. And anyways, all you need to really make sure is that you only put in as much as your computer can handle. Otherwise, you may get, like, some crashing issues or something because if you try and put it in 5 gigs of RAM and you only have 4 on your computer that isn't going to be a pretty experience. So I'm just going to turn this back to 1024 just because I don't need to do that. This is just my little test server for now where I show you guys stuff. Anyways, that's it for now. Hope this tutorial really helped you. If it did, maybe you can give a like. That would be really helpful. And if you want to see some more tutorials, maybe some gameplay and stuff, you can feel free to subscribe. And that's it for today.